Hi guys, so... <laughs> Homegirl, me, is filming a special video today. I am a very impulse. I am going today to get my eyebrows microbladed and the more that I look at my eyebrows, there's nothing on them right now. The more I'm kind of sad and I'm kind of like, why am I doing this? And I kind of want to turn back now to be quite honest with you. I'm very scared. Microblading is such a huge trend. It's been such a huge trend since like 2015. So many girls do it. I know I'm going to be fine, but there's still a little like part of it that's like, oh my God, it's like somewhat of a tattoo. It's not a full tattoo. If you don't know what microblading is, they take like little blades or a machine or something and they basically like tattoo kind of your eyebrows to make them more full or more like shaped better less sparse but it's like a tattoo that fades within like two to three years instead of like lasting permanently forever i never thought i'd get any kind of permanent anything on my face but i am going to a really reputable place it's called brows by linny here in orange county in westminster i believe i'm getting my brows done by alicia but you guys i'm so scared i'm literally getting my eyebrows tattooed it's gonna be a whole it's gonna be a whole thing so i'm taking you guys with me i I haven't talked to her yet so I don't know if she's okay with me filming or how she feels about that I might not be able to film anything inside but my goal is to film inside and film the consultation and like film what it looks like when we map out my brows and then of course like show you the after and I'm gonna do like a few days of healing process with you guys and I'll get my boyfriend's reaction so this is just an impulse video but I'm excited and if you've been wondering about microblading well stay tuned watch this video because we're gonna go through it all we're gonna show you the process and we're gonna show you what it looks like after so this is where I'm at Westminster browse by Linny. It's 225 and my appointments at 2 30. I have to get going I'm literally like I have the nervous shits right now. Like I have the nervous shits microblading experience is a go Let's do this. This is the process. I'm next door at Popeyes right now Filming this on my phone because I forgot my camera. This is what it looks like as she's mapping it out Sorry, I'm on like a busy street right now, but this is what it looks like. I think that they look so good. They're not gonna be this color though. This color is definitely too dark, but I'm super excited. We're gonna see what it looks like in the end. I'm honestly really scared. Like it's straight up a tattoo. I'm tattooing my eyebrows right now, so I will keep you guys updated. I just don't wanna film in there because I don't wanna make anyone uncomfortable. But yeah, I'm gonna go back in, see if she's ready, and then we're gonna get it started. Okay guys, I just got home. These are the final brows. I have a really bad breakout right there and it's a little bit red right here, obviously because there's like needles going into your skin pretty much, but I did have like a breakout right there too. But I love, love, love the shape of them. Like they're so pretty. The fact that like these are gonna be on my face and I don't have to do my makeup every day is amazing. So yeah, this was the final look. Sorry I didn't get to like vlog inside there. There was like a lot of people out like in public. There was like people shadowing. There was like a bunch of customers. It wasn't like in a secret room or anything like that, which I actually thought it was gonna be kind of a thing. It was more of just like a salon, like a hair salon or something. I just felt weird like filming it and like asking her if I could like pause and like film and stuff. Sorry about that. So basically the color that's on my eyebrows right now is much darker than it's going to be. A little rundown I got ombre powder brows I didn't do microblading because she actually advised against it which was crazy to me oh my god they're already itchy and like you can't itch them and she said like this heals a lot better and stuff like that and won't like leave scarring and stuff in the future so I was like yeah I'm not trying to have scars like I'm too young to be like doing that to myself so I just did ombre powder brows and this color is so much darker than it's going to be when it's healed for the next few days it's going to look the same and then it is going to scab off and and then it's going to turn really, really light. And then it's going to get to the actual color it's going to be. It's going to be a much cooler, ashy toned and lighter. So I, I do not like warm brows on me. I hate it. It's definitely not going to be this color. It's super red just from all the shading and all that stuff. So sorry about that. Oh my God, I want to itch it so bad. That's basically, this is what my eyebrows look like super red over here right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in for the next few days let you know how it's going if they're scabbing how they're looking if they get darker and stuff like that kind of take you through the process with me and um, then I'll do like an overall experience little review thing at the end and I'm excited so this was my microblading experience they're really quality a lot of people get the hair strokes and I just went against it today, but I, apparently this is the better way. So I'm here for it. I like the faded ombre look. I love that. I mean, I know this is going to look really good with makeup and the fact that like, I'm not going to have to fill in my brows much anymore is like so insane to me, you guys. Hi, baby. Hello. So you're seeing my eyebrows for the first time. How do you feel about them? <laughs> I love you. 
Do you actually live? Yeah, they look bold. I've told you a thousand times they were gonna be really dark the first three days. I They're gonna know, get darker, did you know that? I did fully think it's Earth. And it's gonna be two, three days. This is day one or day two. I don't know what we'd count it. Yesterday I got my brows done and today is like the first day of like them really being on my face, I guess. I feel like they got even darker from yesterday and they're only gonna continue to get darker for the next few days. Like, I, I cannot deal with this color. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't even really wanna go out in public at all. Not even, like, throw on some makeup and be okay. Well, I probably could. I feel like it's kinda just, like, the lack of, like, lip color and eyelashes and stuff that is making it extra intense on my face right now, but I'm just being patient. <laughs> and it's literally only day one, so this is, you know, kinda what you're gonna get if you do decide to get microblading done. You're gonna have a crazy day like this you are going to have caterpillars for eyebrows not gonna lie and even worse if you're a blonde so if you are a blonde just warning you now it's not gonna be pretty as it would be on like a brunette like if i had like black hair like this wouldn't be as nearly as much of a problem you know what i mean so like i really do think the brows look great like that's gonna be really nice when it's actually a good color for me not just like a terrible warm brown but you know i'll take you around for a few more days i'll definitely take you around to ointment day keep you updated on everything obviously if i don't get to the final result in this video because you kind of need like 30 days then i will definitely be showing that in like future videos and vlogs and like you'll see them and stuff like that but I'm gonna do it as long as I can and give you like daily little updates but I think it's more important that like I just kind of tell you guys like more about the experience so so to answer some of your questions and like some basic knowledge about microblading this is a semi-permanent and I know this is different than microblading this is ombre powder and it's a better fade and it's better for like the end result of your eyebrows like not leaving as much scars and things like that so I guess if you don't want scars um she's like you know most artists won't tell you that but like I don't want you to have scars and stuff in like a few years so I respected that and I really liked that and it kind of did make me go towards this because I wasn't really about this look whatsoever even though this does fit like my makeup because I do do like glam looks a lot and like big lashes so I feel like this is totally fine I was definitely gonna go for like the hair strokes originally like mainly hair strokes and then like on ombre powder at the ends. <laughs> Sorry, I look bald right now. Can't be bothered in the mornings, right? So that's basically what I got for that. The pricing ranges anywhere from like three something to about a thousand. So it just depends like who you go to and like their level of expertise, but it could be up to a thousand dollars, but it also could be like right in the middle, which is like kind of where I was. I was at 550 for these. So that's, you know, not too shabby and they last like a while. You only have to go in for a touch up after like four to six or to eight weeks. And then once they're like fully healed, they're gonna be a little patchy and stuff. So then you just go get them touched up and then that's pretty much your brows. And then you just get like a yearly touch up. So it's kind of like lip injections and things like that. That's kind of how I see it. Cause the lip injections are around the same price and I get them done about once a year. So I have a feeling that I went to a really good place. I went to Brows by Linny, which I showed you guys. And I have a feeling that like they're gonna last a while, a lot longer than if I just went to someone random. Confident in that, it was just really spur of the moment for me. If I were you, I would definitely kind of take into consideration everything like i would think a little more about it make sure you're getting the style that you want make sure you tell the girl everything you want you know don't decide anything until you're like fully ready like she drew my brows on and i was like yeah let's do it and i made my appointment within like a day like i wasn't very picky because i really do like it like it's pretty much exactly what i wanted because they can't really change your shape too much you know you're kind of just like a better version of your regular eyebrows i guess but it was a really good experience they were really nice you pretty much just like lay down and they draw your eyebrows out for you so that you can see like just with like a powder or something and then once they're good to go and then they just start basically tattooing you it is basically a tattoo like it sounded like one it slightly felt like one but there was numbing cream on and stuff so it wasn't too big of a deal it didn't hurt that bad so with pain you guys are probably like oh my god a tattoo on your face like that must be painful the pain wasn't too bad um at all like at points i didn't feel it whatsoever and then there was points where it was like a little scratchy but it's nothing compared to a tattoo or anything like that like it was it was not nothing and it's on your face and everything and it was totally fine like if anything just the numbing cream as she was reapplying it hurt way more because it would get like really tingly and burny but other than that like the actual thing itself was low-key relaxing and at points i almost fell asleep so that doesn't happen with tattoos i don't almost fall asleep with tattoos they're pretty freaking painful not too bad but this was nothing so i wouldn't worry about pain at all you'll be totally fine they put numbing cream on you and everything and then yeah you're basically done you have your brows you come for your touch up after a few weeks and then you just come in every so often to make sure that they stay nice i'm just really excited to see the end result and the end color because i know i'm gonna love these once they're just a natural color I'm gonna get my nails done I'm gonna get some eyelash extensions and i feel like i'll feel a lot 
better and just especially once he's healed because I legit don't want to leave the house like that's what you're gonna have to deal with I wouldn't set up anything important right after your microbladed eyebrows I would make sure you kind of do it at a time where you're able to stay in the house or just go to work you know or whatever it is and nothing big like a wedding or a big event or a party or whatever it is a date because <laughs> it's just a little much but it's totally fine after care just after like three days they told me to put on ointment so I don't touch them whatsoever can't sleep on my face can't put pressure on them can't get water on them do not get water on them for seven to ten days but after three days you can put an ointment on them so they gave me an ointment and I'm gonna apply that morning and night and then it'll start like scabbing and then after seven to ten days I can get water on it and like pat it dry but for now I like legit can't touch them yeah and then they'll heal after about a month so after a month I can definitely show you what the f is up you know i guess i'll check in with you guys tomorrow i figure instead of putting out at the end of the video i would just talk about like everything you guys kind of wanted to know like price and pain and all that stuff now and then just show you a few more updates and then this video will be going up i'm excited so i know you guys aren't gonna be a fan i don't know who would be a fan of this color on me so don't make fun of me don't be harsh it's not gonna look like this and i'll be keeping you guys up to date like on social media all the time so you'll see the final result i can't wait to show you the final result so just gonna be these but a lot cooler toned and light okay friends hello good morning good afternoon actually day two update so i got my brows done on wednesday it is friday today we're still seeing, actually it's not that bad. The redness is like pretty much gone. I feel like they're kind of looking more normal just as if I filled them in really, really dark. So this is what they're at right now. They're starting to get a little itchy. My hair is falling down right there. Oh shit, I hope that's not a that's not an empty spot. I can't really tell what's going on here. But this is what my brows look like. This is the update. I'm starting to get a little bit of itching. Sleeping is like slightly hard because you literally are completely conscious at all times of like not rubbing your eyebrows on the pillow or like sleeping on your tummy or doing anything that's gonna like bump your brows so I feel like that makes sleeping like a little less comfy not gonna lie anyways yeah this is what we're working with so tomorrow I am going to be able to put the ointment on my eyebrows that I have and then I think I'm just gonna post the video on Sunday so I'm not gonna have time to like show you more days but you'll get like the first three four days I'm really loving them honestly I feel like it feels really cool to like kind of feel like your face looks more defined when you wake up like it's kind of cool feeling like I don't know like you just have your brows done It's honestly it's growing on me day by day and I think once it's healed I'm actually gonna be obsessed like I know it like I, I feel it in my bones So I definitely do recommend this procedure to a lot of you guys and just a little reminder I went to brows by Linny in Westminster, California It's like near the Orange County area or it's in Orange County I don't really know and I got it done by Alicia who works there and her Instagram is beautific brows I will leave the at right here across the screen so you guys definitely go check her out she's pretty awesome so highly recommend her and I will check in with you guys tomorrow because not much has changed today and we will start the healing process even more and put some ointment on them I'm gonna try to take a bath right now because your girl can't shower so I'm a little tired it's early in the morning but I needed to start some more healing of my brows and this is the ointment that they gave me they gave me like a little thing of it I feel like you can just use like aquaphor and things like that but I'm not 100% sure this is vitamin A plus vitamin D ointment but I'm gonna wash my hands and I have like some brow care here that they gave me which is like really clutch because I honestly forgot like everything she told me and just to read you a little bit of this it says what to expect the depth of the color will be considerably darker than you may expect don't panic this is normal over the next seven to ten days the color will fade it may take four to six weeks for the true color to come through don't be alarmed if the color seems to disappear during the healing process it's temporary I can actually already see like little parts that seem like they're losing color like right up here and I actually woke up in the middle of the night last night and it felt like like a spider was like crawling all over my eyebrows but I'm like fairly certain that it was just like the skin like scabbing up and like falling off like I like felt something fall off unless it was a bug <laughs> I don't know I've never felt that in my life but I literally woke up to like the most like tingly itchy feeling I've ever felt in my life on my eyebrows it was like I can't even explain it, it was just so itchy like I could feel my skin like starting to scab I guess but I don't even think it's starting to scab so I don't know what that was but that was like a little weird occurrence that happened last night and I'm kind of seeing like the tiniest bit of sparseness like up there symptoms you may experience that are normal is flaking tenderness dryness itching swelling and redness all permanent makeup procedures are a two-step process so I think I'm learning now <laughs> that this is way more permanent than my complaining like it is microblading but like I think this lasts like a few years longer than microblading does so 
Didn't know that. But I, I mean, I love it. I know I'm gonna love them when they're done. I just like can't with this color, but it's totally fine. Can't get them wet for seven days. Don't touch healing pigmented area with fingers. Apply a thin layer of the ointment twice a day, starting from the third day until the procedure area has healed. So always use a cotton swab application and not your fingertips. But yeah, other than that, nothing has changed um, at all. Ooh. So I'm just gonna do this twice a day, morning and night, for up until about 10 days. I'll probably do this for the next week straight. And that's just gonna help it heal. I feel like this actually, like a little goes a long way. I totally didn't expect that. Now that the ointment is covering my brows and you don't wanna put like a lot on, that's what I researched, like people like glob it on, it actually heals way worse. So you just kinda wanna put like a thin layer like I did. That's pretty much where my brows are at right now. They're not gonna really look any different and they're not gonna start scabbing till like day seven, I think, or eight until like day three. So as I, you know, post my future videos and everything like that and make future vlogs in October, cause October is such an exciting month, such fun content, um, I will totally be updating you guys. So just look out for that. I will show you guys how my eyebrows are healing and I think they're gonna heal really well I think the color is gonna be amazing and I'm excited I'm excited to not have to do my brows honestly because I already feel like once I get my eyelash extensions I'm not gonna have to get ready like ever and like I'll still look kind of done up instead of like a boy you know so far I would 10 10 recommend the process I'm someone that hates change so this is kind of hard for me but at the same time I love it and I'm all for the adventure and the full send like I'm all about it so I guess if you're willing to like like kind of change your appearance and kind of like have it for a while because it's not gonna fade for a while then freaking do it like go for it pick a good artist definitely pick someone that knows what they're doing thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this got a little bit of insight on microblading or more permanent ombre powder brows microblading is completely different like microblading itself is like hair strokes pretty much and then like you can get other kinds like this that are like a little more permanent and not permanent that sounds so bad i hate the word permanent that are like a little more long lasting that's the word just a little more bold which i actually think if i would have just gotten the hairs i would have loved it so much and i would have been like oh my god let's go all out let's give me some bold brows you know so i think this is what i would have ended up with anyway not this the healing ones trust me they're gonna look so much better than this color i look like crazy but that's okay because even they tell you on here to not freak out that it's going to go away thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions let me know comment down below contact me on social media i will happily answer your questions do not forget to follow me on social media the links are down below subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and check my description box because there's a bunch of links in there and things that you can sign up for and coupon codes and all that fun stuff. I love you guys with my whole heart. Thank you again for watching and I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye guys.